And welcome back from the break, everybody. Dan Berman along with meteorologist Connor Friedhoff here on your Sunday morning. Thank you so much for waking up with us this morning. And yeah, Connor, look, beginning of February, we still have those winter uh, kind of like conditions. But good news is we are going to see some sunshine uh, coming up this week uh, with some temperatures increasing as we go about the week. Yeah, well, the yeah. temperatures we've been having, it feels like we're skipping February and yeah. going right to March. Yeah. We are expecting things to get up towards the 40s today. Uh, we have some peaks of sunshine coming out, but some areas like up in Watkins Glen, it's a little bit more cloudy, but then we're going to see those clouds quickly move out of the region. There's not too much on the satellite as is already, and eventually we'll start to see much more sunshine coming into the region. It'll warm up the ground, warm up the air. It's going to make it feel a lot more like early March as opposed to early February, but for right now, we're still in winter mode. 19 degrees currently in Bath, 21 in Wellsboro, if we look a little further south, we go over to the northeast, we can see Ithaca sitting at about 24, 22 in Watkins Glen, where we just looked. And we actually are a little bit chill, more chilly than what we had yesterday. 11 degrees cooler in Elmira this morning, 9 degrees cooler in Dansville, as is in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Most areas of the Empire and Keystone states seeing a little bit more chilly conditions than what we had yesterday, but this is going to be on its way out fairly soon. Even the morning lows will make a turnaround not too long from now. But in terms of satellite, we don't really have too much. Uh, very, very hard to find a cloud in Pennsylvania this morning. There's a couple of clouds here on the south shores of Lake Ontario, but if we zoom in, we really don't have much to contend with here, aside from a few spotty clouds over in parts of Tioga County, New York. Otherwise, we're looking to have a very clear day with clouds making their way back into the region after sunset tonight. Our highs get up into the mid 40s or low 40s, dependent on your location. 44 expected in Elmira. If you look a little further west, you see a 43 in Addison. Lots of 41s down in Pennsylvania, stretching from Tioga over to Potter County. Places like Gilton and Wellsboro expecting a 41 as well. Maybe only getting up to 36. In Ithaca, some areas might not be getting the same type of what, near March-like weather that we're getting. It just depends if you're in a cold pocket or not. And a ridge of high pressure will allow for pretty much nothing to really affect us in the near term. We're staying fairly dry. We're staying almost cloudless over the next couple of days. But then some nights we're going to see a few more clouds roll in and start to trap some of that slightly warmer air near the ground. But looking a little further into the future is where we have that next major system. Of course, this low pressure system and a front will occlude, allowing for this shelf of rain to push into the region pretty quickly. And it does give us the chance of some rain on Friday and Saturday moving forward. But bringing it back to here, we're only seeing mainly just a few clouds start to push back down into the region later tonight around after sunset, seven o'clock, some areas like Bath, Watkins Glen, Prattsburg, Cornell, Ithaca starting to get some clouds, but then eventually they all push down, pushing later on into Sunday night. And we're just going to see mainly another cloudy night. Might make it feel a little bit more mild later tonight, but we are still expecting those lows to get down into the 20s. And by tomorrow morning, could see those morning lows get back in towards the low 20s once again. The rest of your seven day forecast, we see a couple of 39s for both Monday and Tuesday, but afterwards a fairly rapid warm up in store on Wednesday and later in the Thursday where the low temperatures will make their way out of the freezing area as well. We go into Friday and Saturday. We have that chance of rain. That low pressure system could bring some light showers scattered in nature to the region, but overall temperatures on the rise despite the threat of rain showers next weekend.